Continuing onward with prompt engineering, we're going to now look at three parts, specifically talking about patterns. So a pattern is a standard way that you represent a prompt. Often these patterns come directly from the way that the, the models were trained. This is kind of what the training data looks like. In some cases, in other cases, it's just, it's been through trial and error of researchers. There's a number of papers written on the different prompting techniques, but different patterns and prompting techniques. But here we're gonna look at three different categories that I put them in. We're gonna look first at persona and role patterns, then question refinement and verification patterns, and then finally content creation and structured prompt patterns. So looking at the persona and role patterns, you, this is probably the most popular one. You see this a lot. You are an experienced life insurance agent specifying in family policies. You are an advanced computer programmer. You are a lying politician. I mean, all these kind of things. It will, you, you, you will tell it to do and it will take on that persona. And it says to explain to a new client the benefits of a whole life insurance policy. There's the audience persona. This is a very useful one. Explain it to me like I'm a fifth grader is kind of where this comes from. So explain the importance of life insurance to a recent college graduate. So you're specifying the audience. This is very useful. This lets it know the level to talk about. Explain it to me like I'm a PhD student. Explain it to me like I have a PhD. Explain it to me like I... I'm somebody who knows nothing about technology. Various, various options there. Role playing. I do this one a lot. This is very useful. I use this to help me learn how to debate things, to, to really refine sometimes papers and, and see. But here you're saying, you're a client interested in pursuing a life insurance policy, initiate a conversation with an insurance agent, expressing your concerns. So it this is like... The, the practice for either an insurance agent or somebody who is about to buy an insurance policy. The flipped interaction pattern, I have not used this one a great deal, but this sort of flips the roles. You're asking AI to lead the conversation or pose the questions. So normally the AI is fairly passive. You are, it's, it's waiting to talk back to you and to tell you things, but here you're telling it, you are my financial advisor. Ask me questions to help me determine the best life insurance policy for my needs. Gameplay pattern. Let's play a quiz game about life insurance. Ask me five questions. The, the AIs are not always as good at this, like playing 20 questions where you, you go back and forth and you ask questions about something that somebody's thought of. They, they don't always do the best in this, but this is a way that you can you can have it play a game. You can... You could even say, pick a random number between one and 10 and tell me if my guesses are too high or too low and tell me when I have successfully guessed the number and then start a new game. It's perfectly happy to do these kind of, kind of things. You can certainly combine patterns. This is where you'll use two or more patterns together. Uh, this is an example of that, assuming a person a persona Assume the persona of a retirement planning expert. So we're using the persona pattern and explain to someone in their 50s, audience persona, blah, 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 blah. So usually you, you, you can tell it literally what, what pattern type you are using because the, the modern LLMs are aware of these, these patterns very much so. Semantic uh, filter pattern. This is instructs the AI to include or exclude specific content based on meaning, ensuring that the responses meet particular criteria. So here we're doing that. To summarize the key features of term life and policy. Uh, we're telling it really specifically what topics to avoid, what topics to talk about, the these 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 kind of kind of things. And this is. This is not a pattern that I have used, at least knowingly, um, a great deal, but 
it can certainly, I mean, if you want to tell, let's say, don't talk about politics, the, these kind of things that can be potentially quite useful. All right, thank you for watching the video, and if this was useful, please give me a like, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the rest of this course and my other projects in artificial intelligence. Thank you for watching.